We have a beautiful sky this morning. Hey, as you see, we have a beautiful morning today. I'm making my favorite coffee. And for a moment, I will show you how to build your own distortion pedal just in few minutes during morning coffee. And actually, it's very cheap. Uh, I calculated all uh, the parts and it's about four, five US dollars. So actually, it's really cheap. Uh, we will use uh, breadboard for this project. So actually, if you haven't seen my previous video about breadboard, uh, how to use it, well, what is it? Uh, so just check it right now. You will see the link in the corner. So yeah, let's go. I created really simple circuit for this video. I called it morning coffee distortion. It's based around one NPN transistor. So we will need three resistors, 10K, one mega and 100K. Also four capacitors, 180 picofarads, 15 nanofarads, 47 picofarads and 100 nanofarads. One NPN transistor, one silicon diode, 100K potentiometer with knob and also input output connectors and DC connectors. You can also use 9 volts battery if you want. You can download schematics and list of materials from my Facebook, link in description. Of course, we will need also breadboard with some cables. So for now, let's move aside our coffee and prepare our workspace. If you don't know how to read schematics, I also have video about this. So first, let's connect our input and output jacks. We need to connect grounds together. And remember, this is signal, this is ground. Now let's connect DC jack. Inner rail for negative and outer for positive. We always need connection between all grounds, so I will connect jacks to the negative rail. Also, I will connect to ground inner rail on the other side. It will simplify next connections. So let's start building our circuit from that input resistor. It's a 10K with one leg connected to our input signal. And next we have a that capacitor 180 picofarads with one leg connected to ground and second with second leg of our input resistor, so we need them in the same row. Next, 15 nanofarads capacitor. One leg is also connected with our resistor and previous capacitor, so it's the same junction. Now let's connect transistor. We will use 2N3904. So first leg is emitter, second is base and third collector. We always count legs from a left side when looking on a flat side of the transistor. So here's our collector, base and emitter connections. As you see, base is connected with C2. So we need to connect second leg of C2 with middle leg of our transistor. Let's use cable for this. Emitter of our transistor is connected to ground, so just use cable to connect it to the negative rail. Collector is connected to positive rail through R3 resistor. So one leg of our 100k resistor to positive rail and second leg to our collector. As you see all those parts are connected between collector and base. For better vision I will change this yellow cable, but it's still connected to our C2 and base. So first let's connect one mega ohm resistor between our collector and base. Next we have the silicon diode and its negative side it's connected to base. So negative to base and positive to collector. And C3 capacitor 47 picofarads also between collector and our base. So middle leg of transistor. Here you can see different angle for this connection. Now it's time for a 100 nanofarads capacitor. It's also connected with collector, but we will use those sockets because it's the same junction. So one leg will be connected to our junction after 100k capacitor connected to collector. And final part, volume potentiometer. So we need to connect second leg of our 100 nanofarads capacitor with third leg of our potentiometer. For a moment you will see connection from better angle. So first leg of our potentiometer is connected to ground. So let's use the black cable for this. I suggest to always use one color for ground, for example black. Middle leg of potentiometer is our output, so we need to connect it to signal pin of our output jack socket. And it's done! So let's take a look from different angle. Middle pin to output pin, first leg to ground, and third leg, one leg of 100 nanofarads capacitor and second leg of this capacitor it's connected to our collector. So it's time to test it. Quick tip about DC jack, biggest pin needs to be negative and this pin needs to be positive, we don't use this one. If you're using battery connector, red cable is positive and black is negative. Also to reduce noise I will connect this metal sheet under my breadboard to ground. You can use any unpainted sheet of metal for this. Also to compare it to my clean signal I will use this box, it's just simple loop switch. If you want to see how to build one, let me know in the comments. So white cable is just through bypass. Of course you can just connect straight your guitar to the input and output to the amp. To remind you right jack is input and left output. So let's connect it to power and test it.
So as you hear, it's a pretty cool pedal and actually totally easy to build and very fast to build. And actually, I still have some coffee, so yeah, have a great day. Cheers!